Uh, hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. In this video I want to show you how you can create a progress button. So first we're going to start by creating a new uh, layout resource file. We're going to name uh, this file uh, just uh, simple as uh, progress button layout maybe. Okay. And inside this layout we're going to design our uh, progress button. So. Um, First, let's change this linear layout to constraint layout. It's uh, easier to design our uh, layout uh, with uh, this uh, root element. So next, we're going to add a card view here. So as you can see, you're going to get this uh, message. Just click OK, and uh, it will automatically add a card view dependency inside your uh, Grail build file. So uh, that's fine now. Uh, next, uh, we're going to set the layout width uh, for our card view to match the parent and layout height to 60 dp. Uh, next, we're going to connect the bottom, left and right constraint of our card view to a parent. Alright, and after that we're going to uh, add uh, one more uh, uh, layout, uh, which is constraint layout. Inside our card view, okay. And inside this constraint layout, we're going to add the one progress bar and the one text view. So let's uh, center this text view uh, on this card view. And uh, let's connect those constraints here with the parent. And the uh, progress bar will be uh, connected to uh, our text view on the right. And the top and bottom will be connected to a parent. Okay, so uh, we can set the right margin for our progress bar to 16. So. Uh, uh, the next thing what we can do, uh, we can add a background color for our uh, uh, constraint layout or we can set this color uh, to our card view as well. It, it will get uh, the same effect. So uh, the next thing we can add a corner radius for our card view. So uh, there might be an issue. So uh, even if we type here a radius, uh, this layout file uh, may not show that. But uh, don't worry, it is, uh, it is applied. Okay, so uh, now what we're going to do, we're going to uh, set the uh, progress bar, bar color. So instead of this black color, we're going to set a white color. So I have already predefined those uh, colors like uh, white, green and a uh, few more. And now we're going to use uh, this um, attribute in the terminate tint and we're going to set that to color white. Uh, we're going to set this uh, indeterminate um, uh, tint mode to uh, SRC A top. Okay. And after that, we're going to add uh, one more uh, attribute here down below. So, okay, target API. It is important because uh, this uh, those attributes require uh, API level 21. So let's uh, next change the text uh, view text and the text color, text size as well. Okay, and uh, text style to bold. Okay, now our button looks uh, uh, even better. So let's set uh, visibility for our uh, progress bar to uh, gone or invisible if you want. Okay, and let's uh, set our constraint layout uh, ID as well. Okay. Uh, card view here ID as well and uh, I think uh, that's fine for now so uh, the next thing what we're going to do uh, we're going to create a new class uh, we're going to create a new class named uh, progress button maybe okay click OK and uh, here uh, we're going to uh, create those uh, objects from our progress button layout so uh, Let's create a constructor and let's pass here a few arguments. So the first one will be context, the second uh, will be uh, view. And uh, above let's create uh, some uh, uh, elements. Uh, first one card view, next one progress bar, uh, next text view. And uh, we can also add a constraint layout here. Alright, so uh, uh, and below that we can add also animation object. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how you can apply a fade-in animation to this button as well. So, uh, in this progress button constructor, we're going to find the ID of those uh, elements. 
So just use a view object to, to find the view by ID. Okay. And uh, let's find uh, for those rest elements as well. Okay, progress bar. All right. And text view. And I think that's it for now. So uh, below our constructor, we're going to create uh, two methods as well. So the first method uh, will be named, mm, let's see, uh, it will be a void method. So a button activated. And uh, here, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to use a progress bar object and we're going to set the visibility to uh, visible. So if you remember, we uh, set the initial value for our progress bar to gone. So now we're enabling uh, visibility and we're going to set the text to please wait. And in the next method, uh, which is named the button finished, we're going to uh, add a few more things. So let's use our uh, layout object here and let's set the background color to green. So whenever the process is finished, uh, this button will change the color. color. Uh, so we need to use the card view object to get the resources. All right. So just get resources, get color and link uh, this color from our color XML file. And next we need to set the visibility to gone. Once our uh, button uh, loading button is finished. So, uh, and we're going to set the text view, uh, text to done. All right. So uh, after that, we're going to switch back to main activity. And uh, in our main activity layout, we're just going to add uh, one element and that's it, uh, include. And uh, it will prompt us a window, so we need to search our uh, uh, our um, progress button layout here and just select that, click OK. All right, so we can connect constraints uh, left, right and uh, bottom. OK, so don't worry about this. We're going to fix that right now. So set the uh, layout width uh, to match the parent. And of course, we can set uh, our uh, Constraint layout padding to uh, 24 dp or uh, any value you want. This is just an example. Okay, and now it looks kind of better. Okay, so uh, in our uh, main activity, we're going to uh, we're going to create this. Um, uh, okay, let's first uh, add the ID for our include element, and we're going to uh, find view by ID of this include element inside our main activity. All right. So let's first create the view object and inside on create method, let's find the view by D for our uh, include element. And we're going to set on click listener for this include. And inside, uh, we're going to initialize uh, our progress button class. We're going to pass uh, main activity and uh, view as uh, arguments. Okay, and we're going to use its method uh, named uh, button activated. So, uh, to make this uh, tutorial a little better, I'm going to use a handler class to uh, set uh, time delay for our uh, methods. So you will see now we're going to, we're just going to use this post delay message and we're going to uh, set delay to three seconds. And here inside the run method, we're going to add our um, second uh, method, which is named the button finished. So uh, let's uh, let's try it out how how that will work. So let's start our application to see. Okay, so as, as you can see, our button has around corners. And uh, that means that our attribute uh, card uh, corners, uh, card corner radius uh, is working. So uh, it doesn't matter if you don't see uh, that uh, in our progress button layout, it actually works, so that's fine. So click this button and as you can see, this progress bar will start loading it will change the text and after a few seconds it will display a uh, green background color and the text done. So we can also uh, add a few more tricks here. So let's add one more handler here. Okay, and inside this second handler uh, we're going to run uh, the intent and we're going to uh, switch uh, from our main activity to the second activity class. So uh, it will be uh, very nice for UX. Okay, so let's run our application. 
click this login button, after 3 seconds uh, it will display done text and after, after 2 seconds it will navigate to the second activity. And uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, also I have uh, prepared uh, uh, some fading animation for you. So we can also create this uh, animation resource file and uh, we can uh, create this fade-in animation here with alpha element from alpha 0 for example to alpha 1 and we can set duration for example, I don't know, maybe uh, 300 milliseconds okay, and inside our progress button uh, we can uh, load this uh, animation okay, inside our progress button uh, class and in button activated method we can set this animation to our progress bar so our progress bar will slowly fade in and uh, it will not just appear in our uh, in our activity without any animation so you'll see now okay our uh, progress bar appeared uh, with a fading effect if you noticed you can also increase the fading uh, duration uh, from 300 milliseconds to 500 or even one second that's on you so uh, that will be all for this video thank you for watching please like this video if you find it helpful of course and uh, see you in the next one